Good morning, hot dogs and wolves. Welcome to Morning Announcements. Damien, nice to see you here today. Thanks, nice to be here. Today we'll be discussing DECA, marching band practice, and more. Now, on to the pledge. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. VP Patsis will go out Thursday morning during committee. For more information, check the flyer in the chatter. Also, marching band practice starts today from 4 to 5.30. All students are invited to see Mr. Hutton for more details. IUK pop-up party is this week on Thursday. Trivia is happening now. Students need to respond by email. Juniors and seniors, stop by the bookstore this week. Pick up your prom permission slip slash form. Each student must have a parent permission slip signed and returned before they can purchase prom tickets. Now to weather and sports. Good morning, hot dogs. Last night, our Frankfurt tennis team lost to West Lafayette at Frankfurt High School 5-0. For one singles, Ariana Regalado was defeated 6-0 and 6-1. At two singles, Carly Santos was defeated 6-2 and 6-0. At three singles, Rayleigh Mitchell was defeated 6-3 and 6-0. On the double side, both Libby Pierce and Maria Gihosa were defeated 6-1 and 6-0. At two singles, Jocelyn Seward and Eloise Campos were defeated 6-2 and 6-0. Frankfurt is now 1-3. Frankfurt competes again on Wednesday at Kokomo. The hot dog golfers were also defeated by, Co by the Kokomo Cats Monday afternoon, 163 to 212. Reese Mitchell with 44 led the dog scoring. Dakota, Dakota Bailey with 54, Ramsey Mitchell with 56, and Trevor Meeks with 58. Jesse Reed 62 was not included in the team score. Weather permitting Frankfurt travels to battleground for a three-way match with Lafayette Jeff and Faith Christian on Wednesday afternoon. The varsity baseball team defeated Kokomo last Friday night, 6-4. Brian Valdez and Damon Lopez both pitched well. Damon earned the win to move the 2-0 on the season. Andy Gehosa led the offense with a double and a home run. The team also defeated Southmont last night, 4-0. Jose Lopez pitched a complete game shutout with the help of some outstanding team defense. Deacon Spencer and Jed Ayers both led the offense. That's it for sports. Now time for your daily weather report. Good morning, hot dogs. There will be rain showers this morning, changing to mix and rain and snow during afternoon hours. Today, there will be a high of 41 degrees and a low of 24 degrees. Winds will be at 10 to 15 miles per hour. There is 100% chance of rain, 1 to 3 inches of snow. Expect snow this evening will give away to pretty cloudy conditions later. That's it for weather and about your host. Good luck to Frankfurt DECA's three international DECA competitors, Oscar Sandoval for the Community Giving Project event, and Haley Cook and Michaela Harper for the Sales Project event. The competitors submitted their competitive event's 20-page paper last week and will be recording and submitting their formal presentation this week. Best wishes to Ivan Santos as he represents Indiana DECA in voting for the 2021 to 2022 DECA Executive Leadership Team. Lastly, it's great to have underclassmen attend DECA ICDC to empower them in providing effective leadership through goal setting, consensus building, and project implementation. Through virtual, the DECA Emerging Leader Series this year, Daniel Garcia and Edwin Mejia Mora will be representing Frankfurt DECA with their participation. For lunch today, Lions 1 2 will be having French bread pizza. Line stream 4 will be pepperoni canzones. While all lines will have chef salad and yogurt. Happy birthday goes out to Flora Angeles, Jesus Barris Carrillo, Aaron Norcia, Eric Sanchez, Edwin Winscott, and have a great birthday. That is all for your announcements. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more notifications. And have, have a, a tremendous, tremendous Tuesday. Tuesday.